hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about how to configure the outlook uh, with the business central okay so as you can see that uh, this is my outlook and uh, I have already received one email from the business central that uh, welcome to the Microsoft 365 business central in outlook okay I have already configured it in my system now I will tell you what steps I did to configure it okay so for uh, for uh, business central on cloud version uh, we will see that what are the steps needs to be done by the global administrator to configure all this uh, options of the business central in the outlook okay so uh, for example the steps which I'm gonna tell you at this moment it's applicable only for the global administrator okay he or she will be responsible to configure the outlook to configure the business central in your outlook so for example this is our business central so the very first step is that we need to go to the assisted setup okay so when you go to the assisted setup here you will find one option called Outlook add-in centralized deployment this is for the cloud version okay so when you click here as it is saying that you have already completed the Outlook add-in but do you want to run it again so just for uh, just to show you guys that how I did I click on yes and here now it is giving me the some information about that business central outlook add-in we can deploy this for specific users for the groups or for the entire organization so users don't have to install them by themselves fine so now when you click on next then it's just a privacy information just click on next again here it is giving us the two add-ins the first add-in is a document view and the second option is or the second add-in is the contact insights so these are the default add-ins which comes uh, from the uh, business central perspective okay both these two information can give us all the features of the business central which we can use right from our outlook so uh, just make them tick uh, in both of the same and then you can click download and continue so once you click download and continue it will download in this format in the zip format for you once uh, it's downloaded you just have to go to your uh, business central and then uh, it will ask you that you can close the page because that's done fine so close this we don't need to download if you go to the download section again here you can see I have already extracted it and in these two folders we have these two XML files yes guys when you download those add-ins it will download in the XML format so first is the contact inside second one is a document view sure now once you have uh, this XML available in your system it's the responsibility of the global administrator that uh, the global administrator should go to the admin.microsoft.com okay and there they have to click on settings and click on integrated apps okay when you click on this integrated apps right now you can see that these two add-ins of business central are available because I've already deployed them but because uh, when you open it for the first time you will not find anything available here sure then what you need to do is that you need to press upload custom apps okay here we will deploy our add-ins which we downloaded from the business central so we have the options available that upload the manifest file or provide a direct link to the manifest file so I'll click on this go to the choose file select the contact insights okay now it is uploading and validating the same it is giving me the message that the app you are uploading has already been deployed to manage your app click view okay 
but uh, what I should do is like let me cancel it and uh, let me what we can do is that if I open this I show you let me remove the app yes I'm sure so I'm removing this document view app so that I can deploy it uh, right here so that you get get an idea that how we can deploy our app because during the deployment only we not only deploy the app but we also assign the users that who will be able to use this app so for example I'll click on upload again click on this go to the choose file and here I select this one and now it is uploading and validating also from uh, your organizational account yes it is already validated click on next now the second option is that you have to add the users okay so for example depending on how many users are there on in your organization you can select uh, those users okay so the first one as you can see it is uh, my user and if you want it for entire organization you can always do that so that uh, with just one deployment you will be able to deploy this business central add-in to all the users of your organization and after this the business central add-in will be available in all the users in users outlook okay so the best thing is that you should select this but of course if you want some specific users then you can always select this and enter the users here okay so for example let me select this one here at the moment and yes it is asking us the permission and the capabilities click and finish deployment okay so currently deployment is in progress it will take some bit of time but not more than uh, five minutes it's based on uh, your organization okay like how big your organization is but by default it will not take much time and as you can see deployment is completed just click on done and you can now see that all your add-ins are a part of the integrated apps and that's it after this within a 24 hours of the time span these add-ins will be available in the outlook of each users whom you assign this add-in okay in the format of this like you can see business central contact insights and the new right so in case you do not want uh, the gap of those 24 hours okay then there is one another option which you can always use from the business central that we have the option called get the outlook add-in okay when you click here just click on next and it will it is giving me an option that do you want to receive a sample email message to evaluate that your add-in is now a part of your outlook so when you click on finish you will receive this kind of email which I have already received and your add-ins will be available here I'm not gonna do that because I've already did that okay so this is how easy we can uh, deploy the business central add-ins to our outlook either for the one user or for the multiple users or for the entire organization okay and just see if we, how we can use it then you can always click on it click on contact inside or the document view for example I'm doing it for the first time so it is asking me to sign in now so I will sign in and once the sign in uh, will be validated your business central will be available with the certain features right from your outlook okay 
and as you can see here it is showing me everything right all your business center screen and even if you click here click on new you can always create the sales quotation sales invoice sales order purchase invoice purchase order and so on so for example if I click on the sales order it will open the sales order page okay so that's how easy it is to to make the things work right from your outlook okay so I uh, I expect you guys that if you are using the cloud version of the business center which is the need of the hour okay so always push your administrator ask your company organization that please uh, allow us this option although if, if your company is uh, using the cloud version then they already have this deployment available but if it is not available then you can always uh, raise a request to the global administrator to uh, re to give you these types of features which are the part of the business central okay so i hope guys you have now understood the concept of how we can deploy the apps from uh, uh, from the microsoft 365 admin center and the business central uh, assistant setup wizard okay so that's all in this today's video i hope you like it if you like it i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video